Hi. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create an editable graffiti text effect in Photoshop. This tutorial is easy and step-by-step. -step. So let's get started. Start by create a new document. Set width to 3500, height to 2500, and resolution to 300. Import the BG image you downloaded from the description below to Photoshop. Double-click on the right side of this layer to open blending options. Then, choose Inner Shadow. Change Blend Mode to Normal. Increase Opacity to 100%. Set the color to BCBCBC. Decrease Distance to 0. Increase Choke and Size Amount to achieve the desired result. You can set Choke to 50 and Size to 250. Grab Type Tool from Tools Panel and type your text and select it. Go to Character Panel. If you cannot find this, go to Window Menu and click on Character. Set Font to Dumnard. You can download this font from the description below. Increase Text Size to 1020 pixels. Increase the tracking for the selected characters to 35. Move the text to center of the document. Make sure the color of the text is black. Grab the Move tool from the Tools panel. Make sure the text layer is selected. Press Ctrl and T. Press the left key from your keyboard for one time, also the bottom key for one time. Grab the Type tool. Click on the Create Warp Text button. Change style to Arc Upper. Set the band to plus 25%. Horizontal distortion to zero. And vertical distortion to minus 16%. Now, right-click on the text layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. Make a copy from this layer and hide it. Rename it to Text Effects. Go to Blending Options. Choose Drop Shadow. Change Blend Mode to Normal. Set Color to Black. Increase Opacity to 100%. Set Distance to 0. Spread to 100. And Size to 10. Choose the Gradient Overlay. The Blend Mode is Normal. Opacity is 100. Click on the Gradient Editor and import the Gradient file you downloaded from the description below in this video. Scroll down and select the Colorize Gradient and press OK. The other setting is Default. Choose the Color Overlay. Change the Blend Mode to Color Dodge. Color to 31 31 31 and Opacity to 33%. Click on Inner Shadow. Change the Blend Mode to Color Dodge. Color to 009 CFF. Opacity to 66%. Uncheck Use Global Light. Change Angle to 180. Set Distance to 20. Choke to 100. And Size to 0. We need more Inner Shadow. So we can click on this plus button to add another inner shadow. For this one, change the blend mode to normal. Color to white. Opacity to 100. Angle to 80. Distance to 32. Choke to 96. And size to 0. Add another inner shadow by click on the plus button. Change the color to 010D02. Angle to 45. Distance to 13. And choke to 100. The other settings is not changed. Choose bevel and emboss. Style is inner bevel, technique is sooth. Decrease depth to 1000%. Size to 80. Soften to 6. Angle to 45. Altitude to 25. Change gloss contour to cove deep. Change highlight mode to screen, color to white and opacity to 60%. Change shadow mode to color burn, color to 56 56 56, and opacity to 100%. Then, choose contour. Change the contour to Gaussian. And range to 21%. Then press OK. Make a copy from current layer, drag it to below, and rename to extrude. Right-click on the extrude layer and choose clear layer style. Now press Ctrl and Alt and Shift and T for 21 times. Click on Extrude Copy 20 Layer, scroll down, hold the Shift key, and click on the Extrude layer at the bottom. 
Press Ctrl and G to add all the selected layers to a group layer. Rename this group to Extrude. Drag the Extrude layer 21 from above to below. Rename it to Shadow and hide it. Select the Extrude group layer and go to Blending Options. Choose Gradient Overlay. Change Gradient to another one that you downloaded from description below. Check the reverse. Change Angle to minus 50. And Scale to 20%. Choose Color Overlay. Change Blend Mode to Normal. Color to Black. And Opacity to 55%. Choose another Color Overlay. If not exist, click on the plus button. In this one, change Blend Mode to Color. Change Color to 90DFF. And Opacity to 70%. Choose Satin. Set Blend Mode to Linear Burn. Color to 5F5F5F. Opacity to 13. Angle to 90. Distance to 50. And Size to 80. Click on Stroke. Change Size to 10. And the other setting is Default. Press OK. Now select the Shadow layer and show it. Go to Filter Menu, Blur, Motion Blur. Change Angle to 45 and Distance to 100. Choose Filter Menu, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Set Radius to 6 and press OK. Go to Blending Options and choose Drop Shadow. Set Blend Mode to Normal and Color to White. Set Opacity to 100. Uncheck Use Global Light and set Angle to minus 133. Change Distance to 56. Spread to 100 and size to 30. Open the splashes image that you downloaded from description below. With any selection tool select a big splash from this image and grab the move tool from tools panel, then drag it to the main document. Change the color of this splash image. To do this, go to blending options. Choose color overlay. Make sure the blend mode is normal and the opacity is 100%. Now change the color to 7DCD00. Do this work for another splashes. Set the color of medium splashes size to 9 of 5DFF. Also set the color of small splashes size to 0E0E0E. Now at above of the splash layers, import the splash to image. Add all splash layers to a group. And set name to splashes. Click on the top layer. Import the Texture 1 image. Set Blend Mode to Linear Light. Import the Texture 2 image. Set Blend Mode to Vivid Light. And decrease the opacity to 50%. Add these two layers to a group and set name to textures. Also add the below layers except VG to a group and set the name to Text Effects. Now you can move the text with effects to center of document. To change the text, just enough right-click on the below text layer and choose Edit Contents. A window will be open. Grab the Type tool from Tools panel and change the text. Finally from File menu click on Save. Go back to the main document. As you can see, the effect works well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like the video and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Wait for the next tutorials.